वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट डेटा कलेक्शन व्हिच इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट इन मार्केटिंग रिसर्च सो बिफोर वी अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज डेटा कलेक्शन लेट अस फर्स्ट डिस्कस व्हाट इज मीन्ड बाय डेटा द डेफिनेशन ऑफ डेटा अकॉर्डिंग टू द कैम्ब्रिज डिक्शनरी इज दैट इट इज अबाउट इंफॉर्मेशन information especially facts or numbers collected to be examined and considered and used to help decision making or information in an electronic form that can be stored and used by a computer so friends that is what is the definition of data according to cambridge dictionary now this word data whether it is plural or singular data is plural that is meant for a set or collection of information the singular of the word data is datum that is a single piece of information it means that if we have multiple number of datum then it becomes data that stands for a set of collection of information now what is the significance of data collection in marketing research Systematic collection of data is the prerequisite of a statistical investigation as the data presents all relevant characteristics of the sample or population it means that if you are going for a census study that uh, enumerates each and every element of population or if you are going for a sample study that represents the population in each of the cases the collection of data is a prerequisite of a proper statistical investigation relevant characteristics of the sample or population here refers to relevance in the context of the study in hand now how many types of data there can be there can be two categories of statistical data primary data and secondary data this classification has been done on the basis of sources utilized for collection of data sources utilized for data collection here means whether data has come from the records or has been collected by the researcher now let us understand this primary and secondary data in a more elaborative way if the researcher is himself collecting the data for any specific study it is called primary data if the researcher is using data already been collected by any other individual group of individuals or agency then it is called secondary data this data unquestionably is primary for the individual group of individuals or agency that actually had collected it but it becomes secondary data for the researcher who uses it for his own study now what is the distinction between primary and secondary data here i have shown in a tabular format like here there are three columns one is source then uh, the second column stands for the original source and the third column stands for the secondary source now the more on the basis of modes of collection primary data generally is collected through observation method experimentation method or questionnaire method but uh, secondary source of uh, collecting data are published source of data collection or unpublished source of data collection then on the basis of description of sample selection in case of primary data it is given but in case of secondary data it is not given and for collecting primary data the time required is more while for collecting secondary data the time required is comparatively less and the cost factor it is very expensive in case of primary data and in case of secondary data it is quite cheaper and on the basis of efforts you no, need to have more efforts in order to collect primary data while comparatively you need to have less efforts to collect secondary data primary data 
is more accurate while secondary data is less accurate then in order to collect primary data you need expert trained personnel while in case of collecting secondary data you need uh, less trained personnel so friends that is what we have discussed that uh, the definition of data then uh, how many types of data there are and how primary data is different from secondary data so friends that is what is it for today thank you very much